Hi friends, in this video we are going to find the value of this double integration with the help of suitable change of variables where the region is bounded by these four different curves. Okay, so let us write the given integral first. What we have i is equal to double integration over s dx dy. Okay, so this is a given integral. Let me mention s is bounded by s is bounded by what we have x y is equal to 4 x y is equal to 8 x y cube is equal to 5 and x y cube is equal to 15. So these two are equations of rectangular hyperbola and these two are quite difficult getting so that means if you draw the pro, uh, the regions in x y plane it's quite difficult problem. So what we do, we use substitution, we convert a problem in some different variables and we make it more easy and solve, get it? So let us put something, put it. And in problem also they have mentioned suitable change of variables. That means we have to put something. But now the question is what we have to put. So let us try to find some pattern, okay? So you can easily see x, y is equal to 4, x, y is equal to 8. That means in left hand side, we have x, y, okay, in both equations. So let us put x, y is equal to u. Similarly, in second two uh, remaining two equations, we have x, y cube, x, y cube, x, y cube in left hand side. So I'm going to put x, y cube is equal to v. Okay, so I'm using this substitution. So in case of double integration, when we use any substitution, we supposed to find j first, Jacobian j, okay. So what is formula of z? So z is nothing but this determinant, deba x by deba u, deba x by deba v, deba y by deba u, and deba y by deba v. So we have to find the value of this Jacobian, this determinant, and with the help of that, we can solve the double integration. But the problem is that we have to find these four partial derivatives, right? So for that, we supposed to express x and y in terms of u and v. Right now we have u and v in terms of x and y. So again, it is a difficult task. So we have a solution, solution on that. Instead of finding z, we will find z dash. So now what is z dash? z dash is this determinant, deba u by deba x, deba u by deba y, deba v by deba x and deba v by deba y right so these four partial derivatives we have to find getting and by solving determinant we will get z dash see it is comparatively easy task since u already we have v already we have so simply we have to take their derivatives with respect to x and y and we can easily find but finally we want z so let us see how to find z with the help of z dash there is one relation j is nothing but reciprocal of z dash okay so if you have z dash we can take its reciprocal and we can have j i will follow the same method let me remove this one uh, and let us start to find z dash okay so let me mention here just a minute let me remove okay so let us write z dash is equal to now z dash is equal to here i will mention the formula deba u by deba x, deba u by deba y, deba v by deba x and deba v by deba y. So this space I will use to find those partial derivatives. Derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so what is my u? My u is x, y. So we are finding derivative with respect to x. So y is constant, it will come outside y will come outside only x is left there its derivative with respect to x is 1 so answer is y derivative of u with respect to y same function we have x y and we are finding derivative with respect to y so that's why x is constant it will come outside the integral uh, that derivative so x came outside so we will have simply derivative of y with respect to y which is 1 so x into 1 which is x so its derivative is x now we have to find derivative of v with respect to x first okay x so derivative 
of v. What is my v? x y cube. See y cube is constant will come outside derivative of x. So y cube derivative of x is 1. So it is y cube derivative of v with respect to y. I am finding its derivative with respect to y. So we are finding derivative with respect to y. So that's why x is constant. It came outside y cube. What is derivative of y cube? 3y square. So x into 3y square. Okay. So finally, we got all four, uh, four derivatives. Let us find z dash. What is its value? Y. What is its value? x. What about this? y cube. And last one, last one is this 3xy square, 3xy square. So let us solve this determinant. Okay, determinant how we solve? Product of this two minus product of this two. So their product will be 3xy cube. And product of these two terms is xy cube. 3xy cube minus xy cube. So 1xy cube will get cancelled and we will have 2xy cube. But see, xy cube is nothing but our v. So in a simple way, we can say it is 2v. But see, we are interested to find z. z is nothing but reciprocal of z dash, 1 upon z dash. z dash is 2v. So 1 upon 2v, this is our z. Okay, so finally we got z. So now we have to find the limits of that integration in uv plane. Okay, I'm going to do, just make a screenshot of it. Then we'll go further. So let me mention region is bounded by, okay. So in uv plane, region is bounded by, is bounded by, see they have given x, y is equal to 4. This is the first curve, right? But our x, y is u. So u is equal to 4. Next, u is equal to 8. Next, see this is our v, right? So v is equal to 5 and v is equal to 15. See, we can draw the diagram and we can, by drawing a strip, we can easily find the limits. But see, by observing these four equations, these are quite simple, no? So we can directly write the limit. So let me write the limits of V first. V varies from 5 to 15 and U varies from 4 to 8, right? See, we can draw the diagram. We can draw it by drawing a strip. We can find the limits. In previous videos, I have already done that. That is also one of the method. Or if you have very simple equations, then we directly we can write the limits. So I'm doing the, this thing here. So let us talk about the integral now. Double integration over s dx dy. So now this integral in terms of x and y, I'm going to convert in terms of u and v. Okay. So there is no function. So dx dy means j du dv or dv du. I'm writing dv du. So inner integration with respect to v. So limits of v I am writing here. Outer integration with respect to u. So 4 to 8. Let us solve the remaining part of this problem here. So this is equal to 4 to 8 integration 5 to 15. j is 1 upon 2v. Let me check. Yes, it is 1 upon 2v and dv du. So that 1 by 2 is constant came outside. Integration of 1 by v is log v. 5 to 15 du. So now we have to put upper limit first. I am putting 15 as a place of v. So log 15 minus log. I am putting a lower limit 5 du. So we are familiar with one property of log that is log a minus log b is equal to log a upon b. So this property we can use here getting log 15 minus log 5. So log 15 upon 5 we can write using this property. So let me write here. So it's a constant. We can take it outside 1 by 2 log 15 by 5 integration 4 to 8 du. So 1 by 2 log 15 upon 5, 5, 5 will get cancelled, we will have log 3. Integration of u is, du is u with limits 4 to 8. So 1 by 2 log 
थ्री आई एम पुटिंग अपर लिमिट फोर एट सॉरी लोअर लिमिट फोर सो एट माइनस फोर इज फोर दैट टू विल गेट कैंसल विद दिस वन सो द एंसर इज टू लॉक थ्री सो दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड एंसर मेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट देन वी विल स्टॉप थैंक यू सी यू